it is very important that we understand the terminologies used in Azure Virtual Desktop because I will be using those terms throughout this course. So first one is a session host. A session host is nothing but one or more virtual machines that the users connect to. The second one is host pool. Host pool is a collection of session hosts. We can have multiple host pool in Azure Virtual Desktop. So here on the screen you can see I have three host pool. Inside those host pools we have session hosts. The next is remote application. A remote application is an application that is made available to the user which is interacting with the session host. So it can be any application like Notepad, WordPad, WinRAR, etc. This app could be installed on the session host or it could be a desktop experience published as a remote app. You will get a better idea when we do a demo of this in the coming videos. But for now, just understand that an application could be like a WinRAR or a full desktop experience can be published to the user that also is a remote app. Now there are two groups in Azure Virtual Desktop. The first one is Remote App Application Group. So this is a group of non-desktop application which are made available to the end user. So I can have a remote app application group and I can assign multiple applications which are non-desktop. By non-desktop I mean non-desktop experience. Okay. So this group can contain applications like Notepad, WordPad, uh, WinRAR, WinZip, anything. Right. So this will be a remote app application group. We also have a desktop application group. This is, this is a full-fledged published remote desktop group and one is created by default when you create the host pool. It can be deleted and recreated again. So there are two groups in Azure Virtual Desktop. One is remote app application group which has non-desktop applications and second is desktop application group which has the full desktop experience for that user. The next is workspace. A workspace is a logical grouping of application groups. If I go back to my previous slide where I had groups, remote app application group and a desktop application group. So these groups need to be a part of a workspace. So it's nothing but a logical grouping of workspace of application groups. The users interact with that workspace in order to access the application groups. So the users that will be accessing this uh, session host, they won't interact directly with that application groups. We need to add those application groups in a workspace and the user will connect to or talk to the workspace in order to access the application groups. In turn, the application that are part of, part of that application groups. The next one is AVD service. So AVD service is nothing but a remote desktop service that runs on the cloud. It allows the users to make a RDS call to the virtual machines. So uh, like in our on-premises environment or Windows environment, we have remote desktop service. Similarly, in Azure, in Azure Virtual Desktop, we have AVD service that runs as a remote desktop service for this technology. So let's understand with the flow the all the terms I have explained here. First of all, I will have a host pool. In that host pool, I will have some virtual machines which are called session hosts. In that host pool, I will create certain application groups. It could be a desktop application group or a remote app application group. Those application groups will be then added to a workspace. A user will interact with the workspace to access the application groups. I hope you have understood till now. If you haven't, please comment, comment down below. I will try to explain it as soon as I can. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you. I see you in the next video.